but that's not very interesting let's um make use of um this illuminate um, support package so basically if you want to um make use of uh, packages installed by composer you first have to require a special file inside the vendor folder called autoload so basically autoload just manually requires all those um, packages for you automatically and that's very slick so let's just do a require vendor forward slash autoload dot php and automatically everything that we've installed in this folder here becomes available in our project and that's exactly the same way laravel does it it does a bunch of extra things but that's laravel specific and just remember laravel and composer are totally different projects and um, it's just that laravel happens to use composer that's the only uh, thing that is common between them okay so let's just create an array i'll call it my array equal to array and um, it's going to have two properties one is first name and um, the value will be jenny i just want to show you that we're making use of a package in the illuminate support so last name is um jackson so jenny jackson so if you wanted to um access um, this first name here normally we're going to do something like echo um okay let's say first name equal to uh, my array and then we're going to have to access the first name key okay but um yeah let's do that that's actually elegant and uh, that works as well but i want to give you one example of why you might want to use illuminate support so now we have jenny my composer tutorial and then jenny but um if you because we included this vendor and auto load file here now we have um, access to many array um, functions that um, that is included in that package and we can um, access the first name by saying array get and we can go as many levels deep um, as we need no, depending on how deep this array is so now we just have to pass in the array as the first argument so my array and then the second argument will be on um, uh, what's it called actually let's nest it nest this here say person and um, let's give the another array so it's two levels deep now we have to access persons and then we access first name so with the first way of doing it we'd have to do something like first name equal to my array and then person and then we do first name now you see that um, even though this is still perfectly fine but we're having this really long way of getting it so this will work as well so i'll just show you that quickly if i refresh we have jenny but a nicer way of doing it is just using array get and just saying person dot first name that will work as well so i'll come here and i refresh so just to show you that that lives in this package um, um illuminate here i'll just comment this out so after commenting this required statement we no longer have access to those methods so i'll come to the browser and refresh and it should complain that that method doesn't exist call to undefined function array get i uncomment that out and i come to the browser and i refresh and now we are getting jenny back okay so that's it guys for this tutorial video where we had a look at how to install composer in our system okay so i did not show how to install it on windows so let's go to the documentation here and go to get started um, link so it says installation windows here in this list of um, elements so let's go to this one here and basically you can just download and run composer setup.exe and um, if you're familiar with windows it's just an executable which you can um, just follow the guides there and it's very easy to set up and um, yeah so that's where i'll leave this first video because it's getting really long and i'll see you soon in other videos where we'll cover other aspects of composer and i thank you for watching if you have any comments um, please leave them below and if you like this video please subscribe and um, like and um, i'll continue making these tutorial videos thank you for watching bye bye